Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. This morning we are going to tie a uh, Hartwick's hoser. This is a very popular pattern as of late. Um, first of all, I've got a ProTube junction tube. We're going to adapt this to ProTube. Um, I think they use a little different product on the production fly. And I've got a nano tube and a uh, ProTube junction tube here seated on my ProTube needle. First thing I'm going to do is get some 10 knot Viva started on this bad boy, and then I'm going to dub in. A pretty good ball of STS Trilobal Kingfisher Blue. You can do this in a dubbing loop too. It's um, completely your call. I just want to make a good little ball here. This fly is um, available in a lot of colors. We're going to do the black and blue version lately. It's the, been a nice pattern around here. Next I'm going to take a uh, saddle hackle of the same color for the butt here and I'm going to tie that in. <clears throat> Collar style. So I'm going to kind of pull back these hackles a little bit as I get forward couple three wraps of that you know you can do it as sparse or heavy as you like pull these materials back and kind of get the thread up on them okay and then I'm gonna figure out my body length here lay out my thread okay well, that's next I'm gonna tie in some uh, fluorescent blue polar chenille um, this will be palmered through the body and it'll do it actually um, creates this really cool effect of a blue rib through the mylar and then next I'm going to tie in some flat medium mylar this comes spooled from hairline just pearl this is a pretty big pattern um, and gives a big profile in the water and swims like nobody's business. Um, so here we go. And then we're just going to take this and palm it through. You want to kind of pull these fibers a little bit as you're coming up through. See how I'm kind of stroking those and laying them back. The next thing we're going to put in there is um, a little bump of, of dubbing again. Because we've got to slide a cone on here, so what we'll have to do is get this, and this is just to cover this thread right here and gives a foundation for the cone to go against. So I'm just going to make a little bump right here. Okay. And then I'm going to whip finish that off. Okay. So that is secure. And then I will take a cone. I'm going to put it in backwards. This is a large pro cone. Seat that in there. Get my thread started. And then what you do in here is you, again, you dub in a big ball. Of Kingfisher Blue. I That cone, you know, it's sitting in there and I think it helps flare the material. Um, it certainly adds a little bit of weight to the fly. I wouldn't say this is a heavy fly if you wanted to um, beef it up a bit. You could um, put a sleeve underneath there, the Pro, oh, I'm trying to think of the name of it. But it's a little silver sleeve, and you can just use that for additional weight. And I'm just going to build this up until I get this kind of, this cone filled in a little bit. You'll see the material is kind of settling back. And it's just going to create kind of a air or a water dam there to push stuff around. So that's all in. Next we're going to tie in um, 
some Kingfisher craft fur. Kingfisher blue, so I'll grab a clump of this. And I, I like to tie this fairly sparse. Um, I think the original material uses um, a little softer material than this. But this stuff flows really well in the water. And it's a little stiffer to keep it out of things. So I, I, I like this a little better. So I'm just going to snug that in there. See how that stands up? It'll lay down in the water. And then I'm going to add some um, Ice Blue Angler's Choice Flash here. This is the um, Angel Hair. I lay that in, and I got the tips out, and I bring those over, fold them over. And then I'll take my scissors and kind of lay them in there and drag them across to splay it out. So now we've got a little bit of flash in there. <laughs> Next we're going to lay in our wing tips. And what I the way they tie them is um, flat together, which is fine. We'll do the same thing. It um, provides a rudder for this fly, plus the tips swim in the water real nicely. And we're going to line these up fairly well. Try to anyway. So I'll lay that on there and I want that wing to come back into that region so I'm going to grab right there while holding those tips and strip off some fibers. I'm going to snug that down. You want to make sure those wings are sitting on top of the fly so it keeps it straight up and down and you can just grab those stems and pull back and forth and get her just the way you want her and then lock her down in. Okay. And then I'm going to put a marabou hackle on and I'm tying this uh, not real thick, fairly sparse. We'll see. Um, once we get it on here, how many wraps we need to get that accomplished. Got the tip tied in. I'm going to grab the stem, sweep these back, and tie it in collar style as well. Stuff's always a little hard to work with, so just go slow. It's obvious I'm having a hard time with it. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to get that wrapped around and tie it off. That looks pretty good. You could add a little extra, but um, we're going to put a, a schlop and feather in front of this just to finish it off and clean it up. And that will add some. Um, black in there and a little more and it also what it does is it keeps that marabou back out of the way <laughs> kind of locks it in um, you could do tip first on this I'm going to tie it butt first and then I'm going to grab my hackle pliers and again collar style kind of sweeping everything back This kind of covers that thread up and makes a nice finish and keeps everything tucked back where it should be. You'll find that that cone in the middle kind of pulls your hand away from the material when you're stroking it back. So it gets in the way just a little bit, but it'll be okay. And then what we're going to do here finish off our head I'm going to push this out I usually cut this with a razor blade but I'm going to go and do it with scissors I'm 
got that cut off. Now um, I'll just take my lighter and just take the, well, actually, let's do this. This is the proper way to do it. Take your lighter and just hit that a couple times and melt it back. And you have a finished Hartwick's hoser.